Mudtown was, it was, uh, I, I think the blocks was from 10th Street uh, all the way over to about, I'm gonna guess, um, I'm gonna go as far as 15th Street. Okay. And from 10th, from, um, from Topeka Cemetery all the way over to Washington. Okay. Now Mudtown was about, uh, a, oh, probably about a mile or two miles from downtown location now, uh, southeast from downtown where it is now. Mm -hmm. So that, that pocket of people were, um, they, I, I wouldn't say that we all were, were re related, but it seems like we were. Right. Uh, everybody knew everyone. And then when you cross, when you cross 8th Street, 10th Street, 9th Street, wasn't, 9th, wasn't a 9th Street, it was 10th Street, then 8th Street, then there were more whites and more Mexicans that lived in that particular area. Mm -hmm. But we all got along. You said you had relatives in North Topeka? Yes. What I, area was that? I had, here's the thing. We moved from a shotgun house on 11th and Topeka, 11th and Chandler, okay. out to Belvoir, mm -hmm. on Belvoir Street. We moved from Belvoir Street. We stayed in Curtis Mansion uh, for about a year, mm -hmm. maybe a year, two years. We stayed in, in the Curtis Mansion. Right. And we stayed in that house, and it was right on Curtis Street. So, um, it was it was another neighborhood where on that street it were a few blacks my cousins lived there my aunts lived over there i knew some other people lived right in that little area that we lived in as soon as you cross uh topeka boulevard mm -hmm. now you take a left right off the north side of topeka boulevard and go down garden and then you'll be right in a little area there um, that's the area near St. Mark and Second Baptist. Right, maybe? they they rattle in that area, but mm -hmm. we stayed a little further back, okay. off of Topeka Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, it was another uh, family of of all blacks and few whites, and it wasn't like uh, it wasn't a country type setting, but it was just a nice neighborhood, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a. It had an industrial uh, building there. Um, I think it was uh, can't even think of the, the place. It used to be right across, right across the street from us. Um, uh, uh, the chicken place. No, no the chicken place. place uh, it was on the corner of First and Kansas Avenue. Okay. And then right behind the ki uh, chicken place was Topeka Park. Mm -hmm. City Park. Topeka City Park was there. And then the old Kansas Avenue, Kansas Avenue Bridge, mm -hmm. and then right across the bridge was a uh, neon sign company, and it was a liquor store and a couple other little places. Um, there was a basket weaving factory right across the the uh, bridge mm -hmm. on the same street. Uh, the um, the railroad. Santa Fe tracks, no, that was Union Pacific. Their tracks run right straight down the middle of our street. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it it was a it was just a just a fun neighborhood. That's where I went every summer mm -hmm. until we moved over there. I think it was one fight that I remember. Mm -hmm. It was two black girls. They fought, and that's all I can remember. Mm -hmm. What it was about, I don't know. Right. Uh, and. Um, uh, it seemed like to me it wasn't any uh, any type of uh, racial things with each other mm -hmm. uh, at Topeka High School. It was just one big school that everyone got along. Mm -hmm. And it was the, at that particular time, I think it was the biggest high school that was in Topeka. So we had a mixture of Mexicans, whites, uh, 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 Indians, uh, blacks. Uh, I, I don't remember any other nationalities, but I'm sure that it was. Mm -hmm. But that, that's, that's the way it was. Just, okay, Woodworth, it was one store that I remember very well. 
because my one of my aunts worked there, and uh, it was um, I'm trying to think. It was it was one of our cousins mm -hmm. that she worked there, and it was just you know a, a five and dime store. You go in, it's just one long store. You go in, and it was a, a counter across the front. You go in, you can go up and get a. Uh, a soda, a hamburger, whatever. That was one store. I never did go downtown that much because my parents wouldn't allow us to go down, you know, downtown. But uh, the change, uh, I think there was a lot of situations where black people had their places and white people had theirs. There was the 15th Street Tavern. Uh, uh, there was Metter Acres that was on Topeka Boulevard. Uh, a lot of blacks went to dance there. Uh, they always went to 15th Street. And 15th Street was right at 15th of Washington. Okay. So uh, they went there. Um, they had their own little establishments. 6th Street. Um, right at six, six and Lake. Okay. That was a little like like it is now. If you go down, the same buildings are there. There was a black barber shop. There was a cobbler there. This cobbler was a white man in the midst of uh, blacks and Mexicans, and he had a shop there. He soon moved his shop to Politeers. He went to the basement of Politeers. But to, to look at the, how people felt about each other uh, during my time now, someone else might say other than what I would, I just didn't felt that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, uh, we just got along. And uh, I didn't have any problems with anyone. My brothers, they might say different because they came up in a different era uh, right after I did, they are behind me, they came up. So they went through different things. I remember one, one time going into a, a, uh, a drugstore, and I mean a little cafe on the corner of 4th and Kansas Avenue on the northwest corner. I went in and asked for a drink of water, and they wouldn't give it to me, you know. So, I, I, you know, th that's the only problem that I had, you know, but I didn't let that bother me. I think it was in a multitude of different types of people. Okay. You know, and, and, you know, because all the blacks weren't alike. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody had their different background and, and everybody had their own ideas about things and everyone had their own feelings about certain people, mm -hmm. even blacks against blacks. Uh, but. Uh, we still got along, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that would have been that way with any community, mm -hmm. you know. But if you look at Topeka as a whole, uh, when you when you spread it out from um, Tennessee Town, mm -hmm. you're, okay, Tennessee Town was on the west side, uh, Mud Town was on the sort of your east side. And then those were the two, if I can say, pockets where the blacks kind of lived at. And when they migrated here, that's where they kind of went to. Right. Then they went on further west. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I, did, I did not feel any um, animosity uh, 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 from other whites, other blacks. Um, what they went through was after I went through what I did. I went to one church, it was one church they called, uh, now I don't know how, why they came up with this name, but it was called Happy Hill. And my grandmother went to that church, mm -hmm. and it was like um, uh, what they may consider Holy Roller Church. That's, that's, that's where my grandmother went. Mm -hmm. So um, that was in a, I, I want to say Pierce Dearson, but Pierce Dearson? Okay. okay, and that area of people 
that was another pocket of black people. That was sort of different, mm -hmm. but we all were the same. But that's where my grandmother went. Well, then you look at Shallow Baptist, and then you look at Antioch. Well, Antioch was the church that my father went to. And uh, a Reverend Hurd, his son is a pastor of that church now. And that's where my father went to church at and sung in a choir. And uh, then there was, um, uh, there was Shallow Baptist, Baptist, Shallow was the other church. And you know, it, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm a, I'm a guess six, six black churches, not close to each other, but there was one or two over North Topeka. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Reverend Hurd, he was like down in the middle of Mudtown, sort of on, I think it was 8th Street or somewhere in that, uh, off Chandler back in there. Um, it was another church that was across the street. Uh, from uh, the junior high school, East Topeka Junior High School, that was a black church. But right behind uh, East Topeka Junior High School, or on the east side of it, that was a white church. Never been in it. Never? Never been in that church. Always wanted to, uh -huh. but never went into it. I think Mexicans have it now, I'm not for sure. Okay. But the, the churches, I don't think we fellowship that much like we do now today, mm -hmm. as far as I know of. They might have, and I was too young to know, but uh, as far as I know of, they didn't fellowship like they do today. Today, uh, they have like, um, some of the churches, they have a women's day, mm -hmm. and they have a, a youth day. They would have a, um, uh, what you call it, a, a dance, uh, I, where the churches get together and they have their dance team and your dance team will come and we have a, uh, a program where just all the churches come together and have their dance team to participate. And then, you know, I don't think we gave out any trophies or anything, but we have um, fish fries. Mm -hmm. Certain churches have a fish fry at uh, certain times of the year. And um, I think there there's no... Uh, competition like uh, a baseball team, your baseball team play my team, or your basketball team play my, but it wasn't that t type. We might have a concert right. and, or something like that, a gospel concert, mm -hmm. but that wasn't that, that regular. You know, we didn't have it that much.